mail. Sardi Valley Fair is happening tomorrow. Thanks, Mayor. 9 a.m. And it's raining. Hmm? Which means you don't have, we don't have to um, water two things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Man, look at that, all that potential hay behind my house. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to let it get a little bit bigger. Uh, oh, they mean, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The one with the spots up here we want to connect. This one. Oh. Oh. Trim. Just leave a little bit. They're perfect, perfect. Now we have even more for the Honestly, that wasn't a thing I noticed at all until I had a full, um, I had two full farms, each with, I think that's eight animals? So there's 16 of them, so it was 16, 16 hay a day. Oof. And then I was like, okay, well, whatever, I gotta make it through winter, and then I realized it's 28 days in winter, I was like, oh my god, I had to... I went out, bought a second silo in the fall, had it built, and then filled it up with stuff from the farm before it happened. Wow. And I still ran out. I was like, oh man, that could yeah, be... Yeah, like, you just spend quite a lot of money in the winter that way. Yeah, exactly. And it's a total waste, which is annoying. I mean, don't get me wrong, you do get some... It, it does kind of become worth in... Ooh, I got one gold pumpkin. Oh. We got, we got the golden pumpkin. I need mean, five. I know. It's going in here. Because I have a golden ticket. Um. Oh, yeah. I, so, hmm. I was randomly reminded that uh, Charlie the Chocolate Factory exists because something about the bloopers. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Fucking sh Let's go. Sure. <laughs> Someone said they didn't like the dying, Johnny Depp one. Oh. oh. Yeah. That's like, not an uncommon opinion. Uh, I was like, you know, I... The only thing I liked from that one was the Oompa Loompas, because the original Oompa Loompas creeped me out. And that was the point. And the real, like... Rich, ritualistic dancing and singing yeah. creeped me out. I like the newer ones, like jazziness. No, nah, I like and, that old creepy stuff, man. It, My favorite it, scene in that movie is the fucking tunnel scene. I love that part of that movie. Gene Wilder movie is a fantastic one. And then, and I was like, I was like, oh yeah, I'm surprised they never made the, the second book into a movie. And my coworkers were just staring at me like, what do you mean second book? I'm like, there's a second Charlie the Chocolate Factory book. I vaguely, Never knew rem that. I vaguely remember it. <laughs> Never knew that. They go to space. Wonka Didn't even know there was a book. Wonka has a space station. And I remember that Wonka had like a, what? a, 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 a um, experimental candy that turned the um, grandparents young again. Into like children. The uh, hell? I mean, I believe. When does this happen in the movie? Well, I mean, it didn't. But uh, I've never heard of any of this myself. Apparently, it, it, there, there is a second book. My coworkers like when I was explaining it, they looked it up. It's like, yeah. Apparently, that's a thing. <laughs> that's how I would feel. Because my response would have been, what? <laughs> Why is that a thing? Yes, I'm gonna look it up. That's hilarious, but, man. But it's like, I, like, just, like the random somewhere in the brain. Like the random shit I remember. It's true. That one's a really random one because I didn't actually. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I guess I always knew it was a book. Like if you had asked me, is it a book? I would. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 that's a, that, yeah, it's a book. But Charlie. I didn't, uh, huh? Charlie in the Great Glass Elevator. I do know that name. That sounds fucking familiar. Um, but I don't know if that's just because the glass elevator in the first movie. The thing they end up at the freaking end where he's just like, nah, you get nothing, good day. And then that's the whole, like, 
Oh, shit. There's a lot to harvest for this. Hold on. We don't need no stinking hay. I do gotta remember that the last day of this season needs to be a full harvest. Because it, it all goes way in winter. Oh, right. well, I forgot. Okay, I'm going to read the plot out later. You can oh, read it now. What is it? Okay. I'm gonna... okay. So, <clears throat> plot of Charlie and the Great Glass Elevator. <clears throat> the story... Can I get stoned first? I it might help, actually. <laughs> it might make this... this might, it might more, make more sense. I probably... Okay, so the story picks up where the previous book left off, with Charlie and his family boarding the uh, aboard the flying great glass elevator. After Willy Wonka has rewarded him with the ownership of his chocolate factory, the mm -hmm. elevator accidentally goes into orbit, and Mr. Wonka dunks them in the Space Hotel USA. Okay. They're in. Inception of the hotel is mistaken by their interception of the hotel is mistaken by approaching astronauts and the hotel staff in a commuter capsule and listeners on space. <laughs> oh, as an act of space piracy, and they are. Very accused of being enemy agents, spies, and aliens. Shortly after their arrival, they they discover that the hotel has been overrun by dangerous, shape-changing, no. overrun by dangerous shape-changing aliens. I really want to be communists. Uh, monsters known as the. I don't even pronounce that. Go for it. Nah, you gotta commit. Come on, the, man. The Vermistuous Tendons. V E R M I C I O U S. Vermicuous? Jesus. K That's the best I can get. I D S. Vermicuous kinds? Apparently. The kinds cannot resist showing off and revealing themselves by using the five-star hotel elevators and spell out the word scram using the group time oh, using group time to evacuate as the group leaves the cane follows the great glass elevator and tries to break it open with a fail <sighs> meanwhile with the great glass elevator passengers gone the president allows the computer castle to what the this sounds like a fever dream. Uh, oh, hold on. Did the first movie not leave you thinking that this was some this fever is, dream? This is more of a fever dream. Jesus Christ. Honestly, I think it's just for fever dreams by different eras, man. One of them thought about Listen. space travel and the other one didn't. Okay, Listen, so what I have just learned is that the movie industry missed out on a good opportunity here. The president allows ah! the computer to This could have been a fantastic Gene Wilder movie. With the space hotel, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Upon, entry by, upon entering by the astronauts and the space hotel staff, we can attack by eating 14 of the staff, <laughs> promoting the immediate evacu- prom promoting? Prom yeah, promoting. Uh, promoting the, the evacuation. Evacuation of the rest of the group. The Great Glass Elevator comes back just in time to see the entire kind infestation come in on the attack, bashing the computer commuter capsule to the point where the ro uh, retro rockets. Huh? Oh. We have 68 hey? Yeah. I'm gonna start walking back home. I like how my fishing trip was derailed by Charlie <laughs> Jackson Factory. Okay. Uh, where's that? Uh, to the point where the retro rockets cannot be fired to immediate, to, uh, initiate immediate re-entry and the communication antenna cannot keep the astronauts in communication with the president. Uh, Charlie's the chest... president? Alright. Yep. I think I missed that part. Dude, I said something about president somewhere before, I don't know where. <laughs> this 
synopsis is really hard to follow. I'm just, you think? The synopsis is not helping. Uh, they found a triple shot espresso in a in a, in a beach chest. Nice. Uh, it only gives you one speed, though. Charlie's address towing the commuter capsule back to Earth, and despite the last attempt by the candy to tow the two crafts away to their home planet, Vermees? In the process. Uh, uh, if you the shake, you can shake pine trees? <laughs> Did that accident? Oh. In the process of the kind are incinerated in Earth's atmosphere, Mr. Walker releases the camera. You can shake regular trees. While the elevator crashes down through the roof of the truck factory. Okay. So back at the tractor factory, three oh, of Jesus Christ. <laughs> three of the three of Charlie's grandparents refuses to leave their bed. Mr. Walker gives them the drip nation formula called Wonka Bites. They take much more than they need, because because uh, yeah. four pills instead of one or two, subtracting eighty years, which results in their age by twenty per pill. Two become babies, but the 87-year-old grandma, Georgie, Georgie Neen, George, uh, George, I can't pronounce her, George, 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 she vanishes, having become negative two, and Charlie and Mr. Wugga must journey to Minus Land. Where they track down Grandma Georgina's spirit, <laughs> as she has no physical presence. Mr. Wonka sprays her. This is more of a fever dream. I'm surprised by that sentence, but yeah. <laughs> uh, Mr. Wonka sprays her with the opposite of Wonka Vite. Vite Wonka. <laughs> it should have been it backwards, whatever. Uh, in order to age her again. Mr. Wonka uh, admits that it is not an accurate way of, to age a person, but the spray is the only way to douse minuses. Upon leaving I mean, like, minus, it, like it's a thing, by the way. Uh, anyway. Upon leaving Minus Land, they discovered that Grandma Georgina is now a hundred. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> they discover that Grandma Georgina is now 358 years old. What? <laughs> I mean, if they can go negative on it, yeah, sure. You, At this point, go with, do what you gotta do. Using ca uh, cautious doses of Vonka Vite and Vite Waka, the three grandparents are restored to their original ages. I'm just as tired. Oh, let me just go to my bed. And, uh, Georgina's been sacrificed. Okay. okay. Um, now there's more. There's one more, there's one more, like, just a couple more sentences left. Uh, oh, finally, the President of the United States invites the family and Mr. Wonka to the White House to thank them for their space rescue. The family <laughs> and Wonka accept the invitation, including the grandparents, who finally agree to get out of their beds and prepare to leave. Apparently there was a unfinished the sequel. Apparently there was a unfinished sequel called Charlie in the White House. That sounds like that era of book writing, by the way. You'd make one book, it'd take it'd be a hit, and then you just keep making new shit up. Uh, Holy shit! I don't even know why I just fucking read out loud. <laughs> Mike's like words came out. I didn't comprehend them. That is uh. Story. That sounds like what could have been a good book made into a movie. God, it sounds like a B movie to me, man. I mean, I mean maybe it's, it wouldn't be the it. worst, but. Jesus Christ. Today's the day to bring our stuff. How many things do we need to be three each or three? Three each. Three each. 
Hi, Emily. What are you doing at my house? The farm looks great. Eggs? You use cloth to tailor all kinds of clothes? I didn't know this. Oh, I, know, I can now access Emily's sewing machine. All I did was pick up some cloth. Okay, sure. Weird. Oh, uh, maybe I've done that already. Alright, I'm heading to town. Here, also. Okay. No, the... Or the, like, Yeah, you'll see it. Oh my god, that's the book cover. So oh, nice. That's a pretty good book cover, actually. Yeah, that, that would be a uh, batshit B movie at best. A Gene Wilder movie, Andy, if you could have got him? Sure, I believe it. But I feel like Gene wouldn't have done that one. Doesn't seem like a him movie. This seems like a... Uh... Way out. Like, if Johnny Depp was in this movie with the new one, I would have been like, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Okay, fair. That's like such a better casting for this ridiculousness that we just heard. Gene's great, but I feel like Gene was too serious of an actor for some crazy bat shit about going into space and then coming crashing down and fucking going to meet the president. Like, what the? And then people are becoming negative age? Uh, yeah. And going to minus lands and then becoming a 358? Yeah. Heading on over. I want to chop up those trees. Use that energy. 